Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany, often tasting and reviewing rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I have something from the Causeway Collection and a Germany exclusive. This is the Bushmills Causeway Collection triple distilled 12 year old finished in new American oak casks. So this was actually distilled on the 12th of the 17th of December 20, 2010. It was recast on the 22nd of March 2022 and it was bottled 2023. According to my information, actually on the 22nd of, no, of October. Non-chilled filtered. Alex Thompson actually um, has a signature on this. This is a, a master, the master blender. And we have, and I'm going to cry a tiny little bit with a little tear in my eye, 46%. If you're going to do cast um, causeway collection, which is almost always cast strength, why send a 12-year-old to Germany in 46%? <laughs> and not even really finished. They just put in new American oak. It's a Kelvin Cooperage, but still, it's just, come on, we want, I want, I don't know we want, we, I want, I want Madeira, I want Mazala, I want Cognac, I want Jubilee, I want ugh, all these different things that we could do instead. The price of this, now this is where I'm not going to have one tear in one eye, I'm going to have two tears in both of my eyes. This is 109 euros for a 12-year-old 46% whiskey. That's just way too expensive, in my personal opinion. All right, so before I move on, I just want to mention one thing here, and that is, did you notice that we have the new bottles now? All right, so even with the Causeways Collection here, um, the Causeways Collection used to look like, so let's put these side by side, used to look like this. So, and um, the bottles used to look like this. So this is the Bushmills that I basically grew up with. I've, I've been used to this for the last 10 years, all right? So this is what the 10 came in. This is what the old 16 came in. They were a little bit more slender. Now they're a little bit shorter, a little bit more dumpy. We save a little bit. Maybe when we pack the pallets, you can actually put one more row of stock on top of that. I'm not really sure, but it has a little bit more stability and so on. And it's a little shorter. I like the new bottles, all right? There's nothing I'm complaining about here. Nice glass bottom. This it has, it has more quality, more haptic, more, more, just more depth to the bottles. And I think that's very good. This was a um, Sultan cask. Uh, this was 56.3%. That's what we expect. We ex I expect at least um, a little bit more of a higher ABV. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out a bottle to compare this with. Um, we received in Germany two Causeways collection. We received the 12, New American Oak, as I said, 109 euros. And we also received then here the Causeways collection with Vermut, um, 21 year old. And that actually had a price here of... Um, 380, uh, 348 euros. I just hurt my, uh, 368, I'm sorry, 368. 21-year-old whiskey, 50.7%. It was distilled 2002, bottled 2023, 21 years of age. It has a, how long was the finish here in Vermouth? Um, the Vermouth finish was, um, it, it matured for 18 years in sherry and bourbon cask, and then three years, 368 euros. I just said no. I almost always buy every single um, Causeway collection that comes to Germany, and I just, just, just refused. And I hope other people did as well, because those prices are kind of crazy. <laughs> All right, the normal 21 um, Madeira finish in Germany runs about 178. So that's 200 euros more for a Vermouth finish instead of a Madeira finish. Yes, we have 40% by the Bushmills 21, but just way too expensive. All right, so what did I buy? What am I going to compare this to instead? I'm going to compare it to my beloved, and I'm going to use the word here very, very sincerely, my beloved 20, uh, my, my beloved 16-year-old Bushmills. Um, this was one of my very, very first bottles from Bushmills that I fell in love with, the old bottle design. I have shared 
probably 12 bottles, maybe even more of the 16. I've gone to auction, bought old ones. I have new ones. I've had ones over the years here. Um, usually the older the better. Not always, but almost always. And I think the new um, 16-year-old one is still actually a, um, yeah, a dead ringer. It's actually very, very good. Now, um, we over here in Germany, just looking at this for a moment. Okay, good. Nothing, everything is okay. It was just a reflection of the wood here. We over here in Germany are going to be paying for the 16-year-old at the moment. Let's say about, I don't know, 70, 68 euros here for the 16, 72, 68 euros. So let's say 70 euros. 70 euros versus 110, 109 euros. That's almost 40 euros more for no port. Four years less, but it's 6% more ABV. Ooh. I would almost recommend this had it been 52%, 54%, had it been castoring. It's like, okay, good. But you're watering it down to 46%. Now, it does say on the bottle, non-chill filter. Nowhere does it say natural color. But this bottle says mit Zuckerkolura, also mit art with artificial col coloring, with sh um, caramelized sh sugar. This does not. And since it's a German exclusive, it only came to Germany. And if it's only a Germany bottle, you have to put on the label. So we can assume natural color, not chill filtered. Yay. Thank you for that. But the 46%, I would still like to have a, a price around, I'm going to say 70 euros, 75 euros. A little bit more than this, but not 109. All right. Good. On the nose. It's interesting. I get a tiny, tiny whiff of the sherry. I get a little bit of the normal bourbon, and then I get a lot of oak spice. A little bit of honey, a little bit of herbs. Nothing that knocks my socks off. All right. Um, whiskey base number 242056. And um, 5,142 bottles from Germany. One person has left a review, a good friend of mine, Dirk, from the Malt Kanzlei. He's a lawyer. Kanzlei means law firm. So it's the Malt Law Firm. And he says, basically, um, it is a... Um, the word successful is wrong. It's a well-made... He even used the word flawless malt from the Causeway Collection. That's a lot of fun. Gives it 86 points. Now, there's not a fault here. Now, there's nothing that I go, wow. I've had quite, I've had a few Causeways collections where I've gone, wow. And I just, I'm just, I'm, just, I, I'm, I'm thirsting for that. I have the desire to have that. But this just doesn't deliver on the wow factor here. The port finished. Bourbon on sherry, matured, 16-year-old, 40% whiskey here. I think port and sherry with Bushmills just goes together fabulously. My personal opinion. All right. So about four years ago, this price went actually up to about 100 euros because there was a limited availability of the 16-year-old. Then the new um, packaging, the new bottles arrived, and the price went back down to about 70 euros. I remember I bought it for 40, but that's 10 years ago. The good old days. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Cheers. Is this the best um, Bushmills has to offer? No. Is this the best value for money in the Causeway collections of the two, the 21-year-old and 12-year-old that they sent us? Yes. Would I buy it again? Probably not. Mm. Cheers. It's a C to C plus whiskey. Nothing to write home about. No mistakes, no flaws, nothing bad. A little bit too much wood for what I normally have for Bushmills. Um, it, it delivers exactly what it's supposed to deliver. It's a 12-year-old product. I can get the 10-year-old Bushmills for 26 euros. I can get four of these for one of these. Yes, it's 40%, 46%. Yes, it has no finish. It's just sherry and bourbon cast matured. But um, 
it, this doesn't deliver that much more, is what I'm trying to say. There's maybe a 20% increase in flavor profile, and there's a 400% increase in price. That's what really, really bugs me, all right? So um, this would have been a good offer at 70-some euros, all right? But even 79 is like, wow, it's a little expensive, but all right, I bought it just to share it with my um, community here, and yeah, so, and to give a video about what, what's going on here. Good. As I said, a lot of wood, a lot of fresh wood. It's okay. C to C+. Plus. Value for money, I'm going to give it a D. I dislike the price. Bushmill 16. Now this, compared to that, 46, 40%. Is so much more fruit that port really kicks in a little bit of sherry that's still left in those re re reused ca casts there is still evident <sighs> a fruit bomb i love this whiskey but it's a little thin it's a little thin compared to this this has more creaminess this has more complexity has more mouth feel this is just a little thin now, we've been claimed complaining about Bushmills and 40% now for decades. And they did something about it. They gave us the Causeway collection, so I can't complain. I can only ask, beg, plead that they give us... I, I want a port cask finished. I haven't seen one in Germany yet. Um, I want... Um, what do I want? I want... What I want is I want 15-year-old juice at 140, 120 euros um, with a three, four, five-year finish. That's what I want, all right? I don't want 21-year-old juice at 370 euros. Um, I don't want 27-year-old juice at f now 480 euros. I want um, products that are still almost in my price range with 100 to 150 euros and that are excellent from Bushmills. I know you could do it. I believe in you, Bushmills. You can do this. You can give Germany what we want. Is this what we wanted? To be honest, no. Were we disappointed? A tad bit. The 46%, have I mentioned that? I'm going to mention again the 46%. Almost all the other Causeway, um, Causeway collection products were... 50 plus, 40, 54, 56, 52, and so on. And then we get this 46 with a, wow, a new oak cast finish. A little bit of a letdown. So what has not left you down with Bushmills? What is one of your, what is your favorite product? Is it, for me, the 16-year-old standard? Absolutely great. If I'm just going over to friend's place and want to bring something here from Ireland, the 10-year-old Bushmills, hard to beat. Um, if I want to have something spe special that I can look and find here, um, Causeways Collections. What do we have at the moment? We have the Cognac cask um, from 2022 still there in Germany at the moment. We have here the 10-year-old um, Cuvée um, still here at the moment. We have here the um, Bayuls cast strength. Uh, no, it's not cast strength. The, Bayul's cask, 11-year-old um, with 46%. We have the Jubilee cask here with 55%. That was um, 12 years of age plus. And we have the, oh, the 54.2% um, the uh, Pomerol cask. Very, very good, 10 years of age. We have the Madeira cask, 25 years of age, 550 euros. Uh, we have the Vamut, 21 years of age with 368 euros. We have the Causeway Collection New American Oak with 46%. And um, that's about it. That's what we have at the moment available. So we are spoiled for choice at the moment still in Germany. And I'm so thankful that we do have things, but this time a little bit let down. Whiskey Jason here, thank you for, for liking, thank you for subscribing, thank you for commenting, thank, thank you for sharing, and I hope to see you real soon back here at this channel. Whiskey Jason, bye-bye.